Hi guys, we're back in Route 21's garage with another restoration project which we'd like to share with you today. What we have in front of us here is a Second World War British paratrooper bike produced between 1942 and 43, known as the Well Bike. Only 3,641 units were built of this Well Bike and then the next evolution came known as the Corgi which has a teardrop tank on top of it with a gravity feed petrol to the carburetor. That was produced to the end of the war and then later became known as the Corgi civilian scooter. And after 47, Corgi bought the Indian company in the States and the bike was slightly modified and made as a scooter for them known as the Indian papoose. That is in short the evolution of the paratrooper bike. Now back to the well bike that we have in front of us. Reason for its production was that when British paratroopers were deployed across enemy lines, they wanted them to be mobile and as fast as possible. So what they produced is a folding bike that collapses and gets fitted into a steel canister which gets fitted to the bottom of wings of planes. Each canister has its own parachute and crumple zone at the front and when it drops to earth hanging off its own parachute they were often nicknamed the torpedo bike because that's what it looked like a torpedo coming down to earth. I have a model here in front of me one in the fully assembled position as it is here mobile and then one in the collapsed position. As you can see the handlebars, you pull this pin, handlebar comes down, that nut folds these handles in, and seat you loosen here and it drops to the bottom. You disassemble this in about 15 seconds and reassemble it within 15 seconds and off you go. Also what makes this bike very unique is that the Corgi has a tank traditionally on top with gravity feed petrol going into the carburetor. This well bike has two fuel tanks either side connected in series and now the fuel has to travel up into the carburetor. How that is done is by a little pump, like a bicycle pump, which once the tanks are fully fueled, you pressurize the fuel tanks and up goes the fuel into the carburetor. The next interesting thing is that it is a direct drive, one gear with a clutch. However, the clutch lever is thumb operated and the reason for this is that when the bike collapses and folds together like this and is in a steel canister, you don't want any levers on the outside which could potentially break off. So they put the lever on the inside as a thumb operated clutch lever. The motor being Junior Valiers. And guys, what's really interesting off this is we found this particular bike in a small town called Nabuam Spreit in the old Transvaal. After doing a little bit of homework, we found out that this bike was part of the North African deployment. Now the European deployed bikes all had leather seats. The North African deployed bikes had canvas, grips and seat covers. I'll share a secret with you. Route 21 Garage has in the back the Evolution. A Corgi military, a Corgi civilian scooter as well as an Indian Papu scooter awaiting restoration. So if you've liked this episode and want to see the rebirth of this well bike as well as the restoration of the other three units, please remember to click like and subscribe and follow us on Route 21 Garage.